Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number 11 and in this tutorial we are finally going to start learning some CSS so just in case you forgot CSS is the language we use to make our websites look pretty so in other words we'll use CSS to change the color or the background color of our text or our elements and we'll probably use CSS to add in some background images or borders and all those kinds of things so uh, let's just first take a look at how to use some really basic CSS and over the next few tutorials we're probably gonna learn all the cool stuff as well okay now there are three different ways to use style sheets on your web page okay and the first method is called inline styling now this is when you take a style attribute and you put it within the HTML tag on your web page okay so right now I have got um, three tags in my body I've got a header and two paragraphs so my website currently looks like this okay but let's see if we can get these paragraphs to turn blue okay now the way we do that with inline styling is we go ahead and we put in a style attribute and then we have to set that equal to a specific CSS rule okay so that rule basically me uh, basically needs a property so uh, the property that we are going to be working with is the color so basically the property is what do you want to change about this element okay and there are tons and tons of properties that we will learn about but for now you can you guys can know that color is one of them okay and then you need to put in colon and a value of uh, what you want to change that color to or that property to okay so in this case we want to change the color to blue now when we go ahead and save this and go back to Firefox and click refresh you can see that our first paragraph that says I'm blue is now blue so that's pretty cool okay and uh, if we go back here we can use inline styling again to go ahead and change that paragraph as well okay so let's go ahead and click refresh and now this one is blue as well okay um, but that can obviously get a little bit messy because that means that every time we want to change a paragraph to blue we have to use the style tag and then that CSS rule and uh, can you imagine how messy it would be if every single one of our tags had to use this style attribute it's kind of a waste of space really okay so there is a much much better way of using CSS if you want to change multiple elements okay and that is by using something called an internal style sheet okay so to use an internal style sheet you have to go ahead and put in one of these style tags in uh, the head of your document and then you're gonna have to go ahead and end it off as well and you should probably just give this an attribute of text slash CSS okay uh, now this used to be necessary in older HTML but in HTML5 it's not actually necessary but it's probably still good to have um, as an attribute okay uh, so now what we need to do is we need to use CSS a little bit differently okay we're still gonna have to use the property and the value which I spoke to you guys about before but we also have to use something new this time called a selector okay and a selector is basically how we tell HTML what we're trying to style okay so let's say I wanted to style all of the paragraphs on my web page then I can select all of the paragraphs by their element name okay and a paragraph element name like you guys can see here is just a P so 
if I go ahead and put in a P over here, and then I put in two curly braces, just to say that this is where my styling for the paragraphs is going to start, and this is where it's going to end. Okay, now I can go ahead and change one of the properties of my paragraph, which is color, and I can set that equal to blue. And then I just need to end that off with a semicolon. Every CSS rule has to be ended off with a, C uh, a semicolon. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that now. And now when we click refresh, you can see that our paragraphs are still blue. Um, so let's actually go ahead and just change this out so it looks a little bit different. Um, we'll actually put the word red there. And now when we click refresh, our paragraphs are indeed red. Okay. And we can actually use this for lots and lots of different elements on our web page. So we can go ahead and say, okay, well, let's change all the heading ones on our page. And uh, all we need to do is set those uh, equal to something. So let's go ahead and change the background color. So this is also a property in CSS. And we'll change the background color of all our headers to yellow. And now when we go ahead and save this and click refresh, now the background of our header, so as you can see, our header actually takes up the whole page, uh, but the background of our header is indeed yellow. So that's quite awesome. And uh, that's pretty much uh, all I have for you guys in this video. Uh, so what we have learned so far is how to use inline styling and we've also learned how to use something called an internal style sheet, okay? But in the next video, I am going to show you guys something called an external style sheet, which will help you if you want to style um, more than one web page at a time, then you just include that external style sheet with one line of code and you can style like all the web, all the web pages on your website with one style sheet. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that in the next tutorial, but don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.